We are going to go over this interaction between this homeowner and an Ogden Police Department employee. This is called Ogden Surprise Idiot of the Week with the original video. Now, what I find interesting about this before we get into this is that We The People University also did a cover on this video right here and they age restricted the video, which is interesting because in the first two minutes, Abaya Israel bleeps out all the F-bombs that this homeowner drops, and yet they age restricted his video, which has 67 or 68,000 views, but they haven't age restricted the original video that has 108,000 views, and it is just full on F-bomb from start to finish for three solid minutes, this homeowner is F-bombing this cop and her compadres. And there's a huge outrage going on online. On one side of it, you have the thin blue line, you know, what we would call bootlickers, outraged that anybody would talk to an officer of the law like this. They're just out there doing their job. They're trying to make everybody safe. And on the other end, of you, you have people like us who are like, yeah, you know what? The disdain is justified. The vitriol that pours out of this lady's mouth, this homeowner's mouth toward these cops is according to the videos we've seen, all the video and body cam evidence and dash cam evidence, we're talking hundreds of thousands, if not millions of videos out there showing exactly how cops are, it is justified. What we're also gonna do is we're gonna go over the Facebook page of the Ogden Police Department. Actually, let's go ahead and do this now before we jump into this video. But I do wanna show you some of the comments that people have left under the Facebook page posts of the Ogden Police Department that had nothing to do with this interaction. Right here, they put out a press release about some personal cell phone video that was released and shared to the public, which has nothing to do with this interaction with this homeowner. And one of the first comments is, in Ogden, Utah, police say they have to cover up a person's camera for officer safety, so they need to feel safe from being accountable. They then lie about having a warrant, which she does, and he gives the link to Abaya Israel's We The People University video. And in this right here, this is how to talk to police. So there's a lot of people who are just, and this, this post right here had nothing to do with that encounter. Another post that had nothing to do with the encounter, this says, Detective Stellman spoke to a local, by the way, Detective Stellman is this lady right here. You see her? That's Stellman? Well, guess what? This is Stellman right here. So it says, Detective Stellman spoke to a local This Is Me group this week. Topics addressed include confidence, how to pursue any career they strive for, and even physical or online safety tips. The girls in attendance were so excited and asked a lot of law enforcement and investigation-based questions. And the first comment under here, yes, girls, you too can cover someone's security camera like a common criminal in an attempt to trick them. You would be a joke if you didn't hurt so many people. So there's Stellman right here. We're going to watch Stellman get cussed out, but we're going to do it on. I, I went ahead and downloaded the video and I took all of the F-bombs out because when they age restrict your video like they did with We The People University, then it gets limited reach. But we really need to see this because these are the tactics of law enforcement officers. They employ deceptive practices to give themselves an opportunity to exert their power. And often it is unjust, unconstitutional rights trampling power. So I want to show you right here just how many edits it took and how much time it took to go through every frame break that you see right there is me editing out all of the F-bombs. So you'll get the gist, the F-bombs and the C-bombs and every other bomb that this lady could drop. Let's go ahead and watch some of this video. We're gonna go through it. We're gonna point out the lies of Stellman and show that she is not the person that you want in society keeping the rest of us safe. Watch this. That's her glove. You're gonna need to get your hand off my camera right now. I apologize. Get your hand. Don't cover my camera. Listen, bitch. Don't cover my camera. Don't cover my camera. No, shut the up. She said, "I apologize. I had my hand resting on the door." 
That is a lie. She was in, oh, it just happened to be on that spot on the door. You know what a ring doorbell camera looks like. It's obvious what it is. And it's obvious that she intentionally had her hand over the camera to obscure anything that might incriminate them as the criminals that they seem to be. She said, I just had, I just had my hand resting on the door. Cops planning from the get go. Camera. I I had- no, shut, the f- up. shut the f- up. Shut the f- up. Lie. Cover my what the f- do you want? Okay, there is no need for that name call. F- no. you, bitch. <laughs> so you know what? There's no need for you to be all secret shady covering the f- camera. What do you f- want, bitch? That's an officer safety protocol that we usually no, no, use. Oh, really? No. So that's the second lie. So initially she said, I apologize. I just had my hand resting on the door. Just happened to be covering up your video camera. And then she says, that's an officer safety protocol that we usually use. In response to the lady objecting to having her camera covered up by the glove of this cop. That's an officer safety protocol that we usually use. Is that written down somewhere? Officer Officer Stellman? Is that in uh, some kind of a law enforcement code book? Where when you walk yourself up onto private property and you're at somebody's house and you see a ring doorbell camera or any kind of surveillance camera, it's our protocol for your safety for you to cover it up. How does it keep, how does it keep an individual safe covering up the homeowner's camera? How would a cop feel if we covered up their body cams as they were trying to talk to us? You know exactly what would happen. You'd be down on the grass faster than you could shake a stick protocol that we usually no, no, oh here. really no for my safety um, protocol you ain't covering my f-ing cameras you're violating my f-ing constitutional rights what the okay, f- on. do you want i am here to talk to you are you home you are you home get the, the f- off, get the f- off my property you got a f- warrant get the f- off my f- property i actually do have a warrant well really so. get the f- now what ha- now watch what happens when she says this. She says I actually the the homeowner asks, "Do you have a warrant?" and she says, "I actually do have a warrant, but look at the guy behind her because he taps her on the back, gets her attention and she looks around almost like, "Yeah, you probably shouldn't have said that. You know we're being recorded." Watch this. Property. Watch this. Watch this guy's face right here. This cop I actually do have a warrant. Well, really? Get the f- now he goes behind her, gets her attention. She turns around. Eh, you just lied about that and you did it on camera. We're trying to be out here, you know, a little bit of public relations, trying to look good for the public. You probably shouldn't be. It's already your third lie. Oh, I just had my hand resting. Oh, it's officer protocol for to keep, uh, you know, for officer safety. And now she says that she has a warrant. Do you think she has a warrant? I actually do have a warrant. Whoa, really? So. Get the f*** Boom. off my property. It's Stop just it. to talk to you, ma'am. Now she says, it's just to talk to you. What's just to talk to you? The warrant? Do they issue warrants? Does a judge sign a warrant just to talk to a homeowner? Is that, is that what's going on? Is that what she's saying? That's the fourth lie. It's just, it's just to talk to you. Bye, you f***ing Bye, get the off my property are you are you home to come out and talk with me yeah I'm bitch i'm inside leave. hiding from you that's what i can do you dumb c- get the f- off my fucking property man you know how many times you guys have accused me of hiding in the fucking house from you get your f-ing hand off my f-ing no, camera was, and get, the f-ing on the get away from she just did it again she did it again i was just i was just leaning on the door just resting that's all what's that the fifth lie So far, Stellman has done nothing but lie. From the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So what's going on in the heart of Stellman here? Ogden police officer Stellman. My fucking camera. Get the fuck off my property. Right now, get the fuck off my property. Get the fuck off my property. What do you not fucking comprehend? Show me a fucking warrant. You got a warrant. Show me a warrant. Don, you're losing connection, ma'am. That's the sixth lie. We can hear Don. She can't hear Don. That's the sixth lie coming out of Stellman. That's all she has done is lied. That's it. 
And if she had a warrant, don't you think she would have already produced it by now? Fuck you, you fucking ugly cunt. <laughs> got my fucking property. It, 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 are you able to restart or something? Oh, no, 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 no. Get the fuck off my property. <laughs> the lady are in buying Are you home it. right now? Bye, bitch. You take all your fucking, fucking friends with you. <laughs> Bye, cunt. It's just a few of us Bye. here. Bye. It's just a few of us. One, two, three, four. I saw a fifth somewhere on the other side of the house. And who knows? This is just in the view of the ring doorbell camera. There could be all, it's just a few of us. Did they really, is that the seventh lie? I don't know. Maybe she thinks a few is five of them. Five to one, that's just a few. Seventh lie. Fuck you, I don't give a fuck who's there. Nobody's welcome. Get the fuck off my property. You can stand on the fucking curb and then you can show me your fucking warrant. Yep. But until then, I suggest you get the fuck off my property, bitch. This ain't fucking Ruby Ridge too. Get all your little fucking pigs off my property. I thought that was a powerfully outstanding statement. This ain't effing Ruby Ridge too. If you don't know anything about Ruby Ridge, look it up. Randy Weaver and his family, they just want to go out in the woods and be by themselves, but the FBI and the ATF would not leave them alone. Look what they did to his dog. Look what they get, did to his kid, Ben. Look what they did to his wife. Look what they did to his daughter. In Ruby Ridge too. Get all your little fucking pigs off my property. Get the fuck out of here, all you little fucking ass fucking cops. Fucking coward cops. No need for that name calling. Get but you, bitch. Is there a need for that name calling? I mean, really. I mean, how should we express ourselves when roving bands of costumed clown tyrants are constantly going around trampling on people's rights, something that they said they would protect, defend, and uphold? What else do these people deserve? So you have two, basically two different camps. I'm sure there's a lot of people in the middle, like, you know, oscillating. But on the one side, you have the Thin blue line supporters, the bootlickers who say, man, you should never talk to authority like that. That shows this lady's upbringing. She wasn't taught to be respectful. Should you respect people who aren't respectable? And on the other side of it, you have people going, yeah, give them what for. Yeah, this is how everybody, every red blooded American should treat these. They might as well be red coats. Or brown shirts, you know, pick a time in history where the people who acted like this had different color clothing on. These people just happen to have clown suits and badges, Cracker Jacks badges and come with the authority of whatever state they're in, claiming to be serving and protecting you. And all they're doing is harassing and collecting from you. So how should we respond? This lady says that she's had an experience. I don't know if it's true or not. If we take her at her word, she's had AR-15s pointed in her face. That would be enough to throw somebody over the edge, especially if you're innocent. You pointed fucking ARs at me. Fuck you, cunt. Can't wait till the fucking... Yeah, fuck you. So that's the end of the video. So let me just show you a couple of interesting comments underneath the original video. Lackluster says, I'd love to learn more about this. I'd like to see Lackluster's take on this. This guy right here says officer safety definitely includes blocking cameras, deleting footage, losing their cameras, charging you $2,500 for a copy. Cops are great at officer safety. And like we've said many times on this channel, and I, I don't know exactly who coined the phrase. I think it was David from San Joaquin Valley Transparency, but officer safety is cowardice. Public safety is bravery and heroism. This guy right here says, Covering the camera has nothing to do with officer safety. It has everything to do with trying to conceal your identity so you can get someone to come out of the residence and do what to them and trample their rights and take away their freedoms, which equals taking away their lives. Love the homeowner's response. If the cop actually did have a warrant, she wouldn't have left. I agree. But you know, here's the dangerous thing about this video right here is that cops do not like to be talked to like this. This is, this is an ego thrasher. This right here bruises brittle cop feelings. I have no doubt that they will be back probably actually with a warrant. They'll probably show this, this video footage to the judge and the judge will be like, they, they can't talk to my enforcers like that. We're going to have to do something about this. And they probably will. And it probably won't end well for the lady. 
So I wanted to get this out there because I wanted to show you the perfect example of why people have a great disdain for cops. This lady did nothing, if you, if you can call her that. This woman did nothing but lie to the homeowner in an attempt to get her to come out of their house so that they could trample her life, her liberty, and her pursuit of happiness. That's my take on it. What's yours? Leave your thoughts about this for the world and the Global Thought Police in the comment section below. Remember, freedom is dangerous. Oh, it's always going to be dangerous, but I'd rather have dangerous freedom over peaceful slavery any day of the week. If you want to support the channel, one of the best things you can do is give this video a like, share it with everybody you know, and remember, if you don't stand on and use your rights, you will lose them. I will see you in the next video.